Okay, this is from Dennis. Any love for the big combo? Seems to be a film that isn't as widely discussed yet a prime example of noir. Several noir legends in the film, Don Levy, Richard Connie, Cornel Wilde, Ted de Corsica, with wonderful John Alton cinematography. Interestingly, also one of the few classic noirs that uh, truly has a jazz, jazzy score. Yeah, David Raxon with the score. Um, yeah, yeah, I like the big combo very much. I, I write about it at some length in in Dark City. And um, do, do you like this film? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's really funny because, hmm, how should I put this? So there is a scene where Connie persuades his girlfriend to stay yeah. with him. Gene and, Wallace, yeah. Yeah, and so it's the scene. And like the first time someone kind of said to me, oh, yeah, you can I don't know. I'm going to, I don't know how to say this. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying this, and I know where you're going, and so I'm enjoying the the struggle you're having with it. Then he performs oral sex on her. Okay, there we yeah, go. That's about as blunt as you could be with that. And I was like, oh, this is ridiculous. People just read into things. So, like, I'm watching the film, and John Alton is a genius. Um. So it's really hilarious. So like he's like like standing behind her, he's like being persuasive, and then the camera like kind of stays like here on her, and then you see him like he like drops out of the frame and they just like pan up to her face. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. And uh, you know, I was and I was like, man, how did they get that past the critics? And then I realized very sadly that the crit or not the critics, the um the censors. The censors that very sadly, especially for their wives, the censors may not have understood what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, and, and that's not the only bit of deviance in that No, movie, we got Lee Van Cleef. I mean, I don't mean to call it deviance. Perhaps I shouldn't yeah, say that. Yeah. But but yeah, but the hitmen are clearly gay. Yeah. Uh, Earl Holloman and Lee Van Cleef. And yeah. And and it's funny because I always, when I say this stuff, there are a lot of people who don't believe, don't believe it, yeah. because they they don't believe that these things like existed back in I guess the good old days or something. So I I always hear from people saying, oh, you know, don't be ridiculous, you know, like like this person who was, you know, you said, how could they possibly do that? Well, I remember. Um, interviewing Earl Holloman and saying, pointing out like, you know, and then you got, you played a gay hitman in the big combo with Lee Van Cleef. And he, and he was like, you picked up on that? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah, it's Kinda. fairly obvious uh, what's going on. And, and he was so tickled by that, that it it like read on screen and it like got through because he's you know he said yeah Lee and I were like let's do this you know let's just do this and and I don't really think that any of that stuff was in the script yeah I think I think they started shooting that film which is a bargain basement movie yeah. I mean that that is so low budget uh, I, uh, Cornell Wilde was really the force behind that movie he he was becoming a producer at that time and and Joseph Lewis was close to the end of his directing career i mean he was going to have his feature film directing career and i think at a certain point they just realized there wasn't a lot of money because when you watch that film and i'm not going to belabor this but i i did the audio commentary for i think it was the arrow release on on blu-ray and and so I watched the film really closely before I did the commentary, and it amazed me how few shots there are in that movie. How Joe Lewis was just like, we're going to do this in a single take. Yeah. And we're just going to do this in a single take. And sometimes it was genius, and sometimes it felt like he was bored. Yeah. Like, like, I'm just going to set the camera here, and it's like a static shot that just goes on for like, three, four minutes, but because the camera's not moving, nobody's saying it's an extraordinary long take, you know, because yeah. nothing's really happening. <laughs> it's like a long establishing shot. But I, I think that at a certain point, the actors started to really take over yeah. and just say, we're going to do this, you know, and like 
I think Richard Conti and Gene, and you know, it was uh, Cornell Wilde was did not appreciate that scene because um, he was married to Gene Wallace, <laughs> and and Conti does this thing, and Cornell Wilde was like, "Wait a second, what's that all about?" You know, and enter and then the whole thing with Holloman and Van Cleef and uh, there's just a lot of business in that film that's really really interesting like like Brian Donlevy with the hearing aid that he that he takes out when he gets killed you know he says yeah. just um so it's weird it's a really really cheap movie made really fast but with a lot of really creative and clever ideas in it. And the script is is really pretty good. Richard Conti, that's one of the best roles for Richard Conti. That's his ultimate gangster role. Yeah, yeah, it's a great, he's great in it. And you also get to see Lee Van Cleef shirtless. So that's another good thing. <laughs> that's a plus. Because there is a scene, it's very brief, but there's a scene where I think Earl Holloman is sitting on the bed and he's wearing striped pajama top. And Lee Van Cleef is walking around wearing the striped pajama bottom. <laughs> and, <it's, laughs> and, he, and he's shirtless, you know. And it's like, put two and two together there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> There's more that I could say about that one. But I think, I think that, that's enough on that.